everybody, Anthony Dodge, Model Train Outside of the Maryland Outsider here with a slightly different video than normal, if I have normal videos. Uh, this is actually going to be part one of two videos called A Moron with Miniatures. And today's video, what I want to do is show my first attempt at painting uh, HO scale figures in about four years and my first painting of any figures in about two to three years. Um, I don't know how I did. I know years ago before the nerve damage in my hands got bad and the shakes were so bad um, I could do better but uh, I guess I'm pleased with the outcome but I by no uh, stretch of the imagination think these came out great. Uh, but I did do a couple of things that I'm pleased with. So let me give you a close-up of the four figures I bought from Mini Prints. These are uh, the four YouTubers that I am subscribed to and follow. So I bought their figures in a batch along with some uh, UPS figures and other things that I won't be showing. Uh, but I want to show you the four figures I made and uh, maybe a couple of little things I tried to do with them. So let's get a closer look at them. All right, so here are the four figures I made. Uh, we have Rick Bailey from the Fultz Bailey uh, Model Railway. We have Dave, known as Sparky107107. We have Heath Hurwitz from Humanity Junction. And we have Steve, known as the Plumber33. These guys all went to... Um, a show and had Bernard at Mini Prints do 3D figures and they did several YouTubers but the other YouTubers I don't really know so I elected not to do them but these are the four I do know and uh, talk to on YouTube to various degrees. So um not really a lot to say. Uh, I did basics. Uh, HO scale is not my favorite scale to paint because features just are not too defined and you really have to have a deft hand and very, very delicate brushes to bring them out. Um, so a couple of things I did. Obviously, I tried to get Sparky in uh, his uh, Conrail Blue, but I don't actually have Conrail Blue, so I tried to color match and I don't know that it dried. It looked good uh, based on pictures at the start, but I think it dried a little lighter. You. Some colors dry lighter, some colors dry darker. But if we do a close-up, here's a couple of little nuances I did. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, Rick Bailey's shirt is sporting his logo. Now, I didn't put a lot of effort in designing the tree, because actually, in the long run, I probably will remove that tree. But Rick Bailey's uh, shirt is sporting his Fultz Bailey logo, as though he bought it off of Teesprings. Sparky holding his uh, camera or whatever. And then on Heath, Heath is wearing his Humanity Junction. Um, and uh, Heath was very problematic to paint because that camera was in the way of the brush. And I actually wound up breaking the camera three times. Once intentionally so I could try to do some work on the face. But as I did touch-ups, it just did not really work out well. And then, uh, and then I had to remount the camera. I hope I did it right. And then Steve the plumber, uh, I actually, with a couple of uh, nervous ticks, broke his skateboard and had to jerry rig a skateboard, and uh, just uh, trying to uh, get that. Uh, gave it the orange wheels and a little bit of design on it. Uh, but uh, that's the four figures. Uh, again, uh, Sparky also comes with, um, the optional, uh, I only made one for now, but I could make more, but, um, we can do is, uh, one of his punk rock wigs. Uh, I did not put the time into this just because I'm busy with some other things. But uh, basically, to get them to use it, and uh, you just have to uh, 
mess around with it, but I use tufts of grass to do punk rock uh, wigs, and uh, I just, uh, doing this live, I did it better, I should have taken a picture then, but you get the idea, Sparky can have his punk rock wigs uh, that he used to do on his live feeds. But yeah, you know, there's the four of them. Okay, so there's my four uh, Mini Prince figures. Uh, I haven't painted H.O. in about four years. Uh, I uh, painted a few of my friends from Delman Horse, including Piotr, which I think I did an awesome job. Uh, I did my late friend Heinz Groten. Um, I actually have to do a couple of touch-ups on that one after four years. Uh, and I did um, some friends from Germany that uh, I have scattered on uh, my layout temporarily until I finish them. I actually plan on doing uh, Joyce and Me and uh, quite a few other... Um, in fact, uh, some, of, some students that volunteered and sent me pictures uh, that I would add to... Um, having me with my students as a group uh, somehow, uh, since that's what I did in Delmenhorst, led a group of students around everywhere. But anyhow, uh, so, yeah, I don't think they're great, but um, at least maybe you could see the idea and some things I used to do, uh, like add those little details, such as the t-shirt designs and that. Um, the facial part, you really have to have a a very, uh, and I have the brushes. I, I was an avid painter. Uh, I have the brushes, including one hair and two hair brushes, short hair uh, stub brushes, but I just cannot now get into the face and try to do um, a beard or a goatee the way I used to. And I wind up just, uh, the more I try to hold steady, the harder it gets, but it is what it is, and so that's my versions of them. I've seen really awesome versions of them, but, you know, um, I like to think my little trick of adding their uh, site logos onto their t-shirts as though they're wearing their Teespring shirts uh, was kind of cool. But anyhow, be that as it may, those four characters are going to appear on uh, part two, which uh, you shouldn't be looking at that because that's part of part two. Um, Part two of A Moron with Miniatures uh, is something I've been spending about an hour a day for the last four days on. I uh, And I'm not going to say anything more about it. I don't know if I'll have it out uh, Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday. Uh, but um, I'd like to have it out before my live stream so we could talk about it. But I have this crazy, crazy, um, stupid little diorama I'm building and uh, it's not a show diorama, but it's just something stupid I had to get out of my system uh, based on some stuff from the Fowler and Note Christmas calendars. So until that video, I will say Alvita Zane, tschüss, and happy trains. Take care, everybody.